वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द वर्टिकल फार्मिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट व्हाट इज द वर्टिकल फार्मिंग हाउ वी शुड डू द वर्टिकल फार्मिंग एंड व्हाट टाइप ऑफ केयर वी शुड टेक वाइल सेटिंग अप द वर्टिकल फार्मिंग यूनिट आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द प्लांट्स विच ग्रोइंग बेस्ट इन दिस वर्टिकल फार्मिंग सिस्टम so to know everything in detail stay connected to the video till the end don't go away let's start the video so now let us first understand what is the vertical farming so friends whenever we think to grow any plant we need to take care for some of the basic requirement for growing the plant successfully the basic requirements like the number of hours of the sunlight which plant gets the area for the plant root for taking the nourishment and the requirement of the water or the fulfillment of the water requirement when we grow it into the conventional system or the soil based system we need to space the plant in a such a way that all this plant need fulfills and we get the good production if we fulfill all this requirement then only our plant can grow vigorously and give us the good yield now this basic requirement of the plant varies from plant to plant and species to species like some plants requires at least 12 hours of the day sunlight for growing well and some of the plants can grow in 5 to 6 hours of the daylight and give us a good yield in the same way the leafy plant requires more of the nitrogen and when we grow the tuber crop it require more of the potash for its better growth and this becomes the limiting factor to accommodate the number of plants per unit area alternatively we can increase the number of plant by growing it into the vertical manner by fulfilling all this plant need like sunlight nutrition and the water and get the more number of plant per unit area and that is how we can get the more yield per unit area now let us understand how we are going to maximize the number of plant per unit area by stacking them vertically up so to understand the plant density with the conventional system and the vertical system we'll take the example of this system this system we have made with the stacker of the grow beds we have here five stack of the grow bed set over here now if we count the distance it is one and a half feet width of the bed and a bed to bed distance is around 3 feet so if you see that center to center distance will be around Four and half feet, which is equivalent to the what we grow into the soil. Now, if you see that we have five stack like this, so if we count directly that against the soil, we can have in the multiple of five number of the plants over here. So we can consider that we can grow the five times the amount than what we grow into the soil. Now, for the second requirement, the sunlight. Now, if, when you see. that few plants require 4 to 6 hour of sunlight and grow well now here we have a distance 3 feet between bed to bed and if we count the angle from this vertical line to the this top angle is around 35 to 36 degree and if you count the sunlight and sunrise to sunset is between 180 degree so if you roughly count that it will get the 1/5 of the light directly on the plant and remaining hours it will get the diffuse light so now if we consider 13 to 14 hours of the daylight so here we will get 3 to 3 and half hour of the direct light on this plant and the remaining time it will get the diffuse light and many of the plants like turmeric ginger and other tuber crop grows well with the, this amount of the light so we can grow them into this stackers in the layer now if you want to increase number of stackers then simple thing you need to increase the distance and maintain the light hours that's how you can increase the number and per unit area you can have a more number of the plants now let us understand what is the overall yield what we are going to get from the system now watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like Also share it with the like-minded people. Express your view 
in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe now let us understand what is the overall yield which we are going to get from this system when we compare it to the conventional system we have already put the five layers of the growing media that means we have the five times more plant than our the conventional system also when we grow it into the conventional system with the, all the sources available for its good nourishment due to the limitation of the soil to supply the nutrient as per the plant need with a different stage here we are going to use a inert media like a cocoa pit so we can supply the nutrition as per the plant requirement as per different stages like in the initial stage of the plant growth plant requires the more of the nitrogen for its vegetative growth and we can maintain that nitrogen level with the nutrition what we feed through the water in the later part of the growth the when the tuber is starting initiating and the tuber is getting developed it requires more of the phosphorus and more of the potash which we can supply by balancing the nutrition formula and supply it with the water and give the optimum nutrition to the plant for its growth so this result in good growth of the plant and converted into the higher yields per plant it is observed that in this system sometimes the plant gives 3 to 4 times the yield than the conventional one but on a conservative side if we consider that we are getting the twice the yield compared to the conventional system and we have already the five times the plant then overall yield per unit area will get at least the 10 times than the conventional system and this considered we to be very good yield in this system and this is the biggest advantage what we get growing the plants vertically so how do you find the system of growing this plant vertically up and get the good yield please write me back into the comment box and if you find this information useful then don't forget to give me the thumb i will keep you update on the growth of the plant into the system regularly and about the yield what we are going to get from the system into future with a separate video we can also grow the other plants with modifying this arrangement like into the steps or into the a tower which i am going to explain into future with a separate video but for now we are ending up this with this video happy growing